Galloway's support through sight loss. Humanware electronic magnifiers, Explore 5 and Explore 8. Picture shows product boxes for Explore 5 and Explore 8. Hello everyone and welcome to the Galloway's Talking Tech YouTube channel. It's Andrew Coleman, Assistive Technology Coordinator here at Galloway's and this is a new episode where we are going to be unboxing um, products that are specifically designed for people with sight loss and today we're looking at some products from a company called Humanware um, thank you very much for Humanware for, for sending these products over these are two electronic video magnifiers these are handheld magnifiers and we're looking at the Explore 5 which is a 5 inch electronic video magnifier and we're also looking at the Explore 8 which is an 8 inch electronic video magnifier. Often people ask me about low vision equipment and here at Galloway's we talk to people regularly um, about magnifiers um, and also um, the restrictions of using a magnifying glass. Magnifying glasses, the stronger they become, um, the, the, the smaller the lens, so the smaller the window that you've got to look through. So here at Galloway's we talk to people a lot about video or electronic video magnification because when we use an electronic device um, we have greater opportunities and bigger screens to, to take advantage of so there's a huge advantage to going towards an electronic video magnifier um, and this is something that will cost you a little bit more money um, but it is a really good investment um, into a device that is going to enable you to do all those things that you you know you love to do you know reading um, uh, looking at uh, you know cooking instructions being able to see things like sell by dates and um, using an electronic video magnifier is going to give you a better contrast and it's also going to give you um, uh, obviously bigger text um, and different colors as well so we can change you know the colors of how we read so if you prefer white on black black on white yellow on black uh, black on yellow and um, we can also you know, change the, the display settings on the device to suit your needs as well and uh, yes we could do that on the humanware devices also okay so we'll start by unboxing the Explorer 5 uh, it's a little bit smaller this box so we'll just, just open it up so on the top here um, you presented with the Explorer 5 and it uh, it does come in a in a nice case um, as you can see there so we'll, we'll put that just put that to one side a second you get your usual uh, warranty and, and manual yeah we'll read those later okay some more information there and then just under below here we've got our uh, we've got a HDMI cable and we can plug this into a, another monitor also got a plug um, which is USB so it does come out just come out this end like that so you can you can uh, pack it away easier which is which is quite handy as well got some adapters here um, a foreign a foreign adapter a US one and also a European one which is very cool oh a lanyard got a lanyard as well um, these things, the ends of these things, they're really, they're really hard to hook on. So you might need somebody to help you with that. And similarly, uh, with this, this is the bigger version. This is the um, the big boy. Uh, this is would help if I turn it the right way around. This is the Explorer Eight. So we'll open this one up as well, and as you can see, similar thing here. Um, we've got the Explorer Eight, and it uh, comes in a. In a nice nice sleeve case there we'll have a look at that one in a minute okay got our instructions warranty some more instructions oh cleaning cloth I like cleaning cloths and in here again it's very much similar really we've got a we've got a HDMI cable as well in here um, with some other uh, with some European plugs as well um, which we'll be able to use for charging abroad 
Okay, I think it's time to have a play with them. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with the, the Humanware five inch display model. So this is a bit more of a, of a portable model. You could put this in your bag um, or your, you know, your briefcase. This you can carry it around with you. It's very, very portable. I'll just try and show you a bit more of an actual size of the device so if you can, I'll just pick it up here. So here it is, it's quite nice. Um, I've just closed the handle at the back, so it's quite flat. Um, it's we've we've got at the I'm holding the device on its back, and we we actually have a camera in the middle, and we have some lights side side that's going to light up the document when you're using it. Um, and we have this nice handle, um, which kind of folds out, and it becomes then if I turn this around, this actually switches the device on. And we can use this like a traditional uh, magnifying glass, so that's quite nice. Um, we can also we can put the handle back in, um, so it's flat now, and we can also use the device when it's switched on by just holding it from side to side. We can also um, use the handle as a stand, so that will that will stand the device up so it faces you on a, on an angle, um, which is quite nice as well. So that's the stand of the device. It's kind of a mul it's got multiple options with that. And when you when you close the stand, um, it actually switches the device off, which are, which I really really like. Um, on the on the front we've got some we've got um, three buttons on the right hand side, um, which is a, a camera freeze button and a plus and a minus to change the the magnification level. And we've also got a color a cool button. Which will change the um, the color sets of the device. So let's have a little look. On the top, you've got your power button. So we're going to press that, press it in for a couple of seconds, and the device will switch on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on on my document, and I'm going to put the stand out like I was talking about before, and I'm just going to place that on some text, and I'm just going to zoom in the camera so we can all see. Okay. So. Here we go. So now you can see on the uh, on the we're, we're now viewing um, a bit of a power graph on this magazine. Um, this is our call button, and that's on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that, and that's going to change our color contrast. And I'm also going to just change the magnification level by pressing the plus button, and we can go in three and a half times, four times five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten times, sorry, twelve times actually, sixteen times, twenty-two times, so this goes up to a total of twenty-two times. Now you're going to struggle getting a whole word on the screen like that. So I'm just going to turn this down a little bit and we'll stay, we'll stay, we'll stay at, um, we'll stay at six times. So you can obviously you can move this magnifier around. You could pick it up as well if you wanted to, but I'm just kind of holding this on the device. Uh, sorry, I'm just holding this on the on the magazine. Um, our button on the side will change our colours, so we can go through different colour contrasts. So now we're on uh, black on uh, black on white, black on white high contrast, um, white on black, um, black on yellow. And yellow on black, I think that's quite a nice one. Yellow on black, so we can we can use it like this, and um, you know you can use these devices for lots of things. One handy thing is if you're using this in a shop or you're using this where you know you can't get close enough to the screen to see what you're looking at. There is a button at the bottom, um, right hand side of the device, and that's the camera button. And when you press that, what it actually does is it freezes the image on the screen. So you could take this now and look at it closer and then when you're finished you just press the button again and that will unfreeze the image and you're back to the live view of the camera. So as I was saying before, um, you know, one of the ways I'd like to use is probably myself, pull the handle out and then it actually becomes it actually becomes a, um, a handheld magnifier. So this way I would probably, you know, you could hold it, you could hold it close. You can bring it back a couple of inches but not too far. It has to see the document um, that's underneath. 
um, so you can do it that way as well. Um, the one thing with these is, and, and all these types of magnifiers, I'll just switch it back on. Um, you can't lay them flat. If you lay them flat like that, then the camera can't see the document. Um, the camera always needs a little bit of a distance, so that's why we've got this little stand. And when we put that stand up, it, it can now view the document. So it's a really, really nice um, little handheld magnifier. Uh, and this one is, again, this one's called the Explorer 5. Okay, so we're gonna have a little look at the Explorer 8 now. This is the bigger version, so this is the big brother to the Explorer 5. As you can see, it's a much bigger device. Um, this is a little bit, still portable. You can still use this, take this out and about with you, but it is a bit more of a, of a, of a unit. Um, we've got the eight inch screen facing us. Um, bottom of the device, we've got three buttons. We've got a minus button on the left, a plus button on the right, and in the middle of the display, we've got an, that orange button which will change the, the color sets for um, when, we're, when we're actually um, want, wanting to change the colors from say black and white or white on black, uh, yellow on black, black on yellow, things like that. Um, at the top of the device, we've, we've got the, on the right hand side at the top, uh, just on the edge, we've got the camera button which will take a picture for us. We've got the power button on, on the left hand side, on the edge, just at the top, top left hand corner, that's the power button. And we've got our charging, um, we can charge up with USB, that's at the bottom um, left hand corner on the side of the device as well. If I turn this on its back, and uh, we've got the cameras um, uh, in, the, in the center of the device, and we've also got some lights either side, and of course that's how this device is going to light up the document that we're going to look at. I'm just going to turn it back the other way around. So we've got two ways of kind of switching this device on, um, like we did with the Explorer 5. We can press the power button on the side, and that will switch our device on. Um, I'll just switch it off. I'll switch it off again. But what we can also do, the back of the device has a stand. So this um, kind of gray area on the back is a is a stand, and um, this will this will this will tilt the device up towards you. So all you have to do is open the stand like so, and now the device will switch on. And now you've got the full eight inch display. Um, so of course, again, like we did with the Explorer Five, what we can do is press our plus button, and that will zoom in on the text that we want. And this again, this will go up. This will go up very, very high in magnification. So you can see on the screen, we're at 30 times. So it's quite a quite a lot of magnification. Um, probably a bit too much for me. I can only say get four or five letters on the screen. I'll just zoom down a little bit so we can get it a bit more we can get a bit more uh, in focus there. I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can see a bit more of the actual device. So here we go. Um, so we've got the device here. So we can move this around our, our text uh, and we can change, we've done the magnification, we can change our colors as well. So it's a very nice, um, very nice vibrant color. And um, I think I might have forgotten to say that this device, the eight inch and the five inch, they're both um, high definition screens as well, so you've got a very nice display. Okay, I'll just press the colors again, and you can see now we're on a, a black and white, and that's more high contrast black and white, and now we're a white on black. I'll just press that one again, and now we're back to black on yellow, and now yellow on black. Um, so we've got that. Um, now if I wanted to freeze frame this, I can. Press the button on the side and that will actually freeze the image that we're looking at and now it's, the image is, is frozen. So that's quite nice as well. If I press that button on the top, that will unfreeze and now we are back in the live camera mode.
Now, something different about this one, we can actually use this like a tablet. So we can actually use our fingers and we can pinch on the screen. So we can actually pinch on the screen, which I think is really, really nice. Um, instead of having to use the buttons, so that's quite nice. So just pinch in, and that will take the level of the magnification up for you to read instead of having to use the buttons. So that is the Explorer 8. As you can see, a really, really nice um, electronic, um, electronic video magnifier. You can pick up the Explorer 5 for £399, excluding VAT, and you can also purchase the Explorer 8 for £699, excluding VAT. You can visit the website, you can go to Humanware's website, it's www.humanware, that's H-U-M-A-N-W-A-R-E.com. Links and descriptions of the, of the products that we've looked at today will be um, at the bottom of the video. Uh, go there. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We are Galloways. We are here for life after a sight loss diagnosis. We understand that sight loss can be scary. You might feel isolated, lonely and unsure where to turn. We are here to help you and those close to you adjust to the changes that sight loss can bring. We exist so that nobody living in Lancashire and Sefton has to face sight loss alone. So please get in touch. You can visit our website at www.galloways.org.uk or call us on 01 772 744 148.